What's up, BSO community? Coming back with another werewolf build video. Um, sorry that I haven't released any build videos in a while. It's just due to because werewolf hasn't really changed at the time, and there wasn't really anything new to offer other than the same builds. So, but this patch is going to change that due to the sorcerer buffs, which will carry over into werewolf form, plus the new mythic as well, which is pretty much going to be the build. But I'm going to explain to you guys why that mythic in werewolf form is very powerful. But anyway, let's go in and get into the build. So, when we go to our inventory, uh, whatever, we want to run um, Bewe Sugar Skulls, the max stat food I find to be the best with the mythic, but you can also run recovery food, which is pretty nice as well. Um, but yeah, Bewe Sugar Skulls just gives you the most health, um, the most stamina mag. And which more stamina means more damage for us more health means more healing but for the recovery food it just allows you to kind of keep pushing through a little bit better um, but it's going to lower your overall damage because of the stamina has gone but other than that you can kind of play around whatever you want you can also use the gold version of this and you'll be fine basically any food will be fine or any drink whatever anyway alright so for the weapons you want to run None of the sets will carry over. None of that will work. None of that will proc. But the traits and the enchants and the weight of the gear and the type of gear, I guess, is going to matter. So right now I have Frost, Nern, and I have Sharpen, Shock. So I think Frost now does Minor Brittle, which will increase your critical damage, I believe. Y'all can fact check me. I could be wrong on that. Um, so we got one Sharpen and one Nern. So overall increases your damage. Make sure these are gold. For your back bar, I have a sharpened two-hander. Um, you can use a bow here, because I know a lot of world players like to use bow. That's kind of what I would probably end up swapping to my back bar. But for now, I have a two-hander. Now for weapons, uh, for the other gear pieces, I have five heavy, all tri-stat enchants for maximum resources. And uh, then I have Divine for overall damage increase. Now for um, what type I have, five heavy, one medium, one light, but you can go all medium if you want, but I'm just trying to balance out the build. So that's what I have so far. Now, let's go ahead and get into the Mythic. Why is this Mythic so good? Well, it reduces your damage taken by 15%, which is kind of like really tanky. And that is like a uh, so, so, so some people, somebody said it was like a pariah buff. I don't know if that's exactly what it is, but something around that. And then if you stack that with the pack leader morph, you're going to get another 10%, which will almost be, you'd be just as tanky as an undeath vampire at all times. And then the weapon and spell damage, I did the math on this. That is exactly a clever alchemist and a new moon proc together. Or clever alchemist proc with a new moon set. But instead of it proccing, it's always there. And then, same thing with the recovery. That's pretty much a wretched. So, and you don't have to proc any of this. It's always there. So that's what makes it really, really good. And it scales with the werewolf passives and the sword passives. It makes your werewolf form much stronger than any other build in the game for PvP. Keep in mind, there's PvE builds that do more damage, obviously, because it's PvE. Just that crit damage and stuff like that and dots. But for PvP, it's the best for a werewolf. I've tested them all. Trust me, it is. So, um, we got weapon damage infused. You can do some recovery. Doesn't matter, you're still going to hit hard. Keep that in mind. Now, for... You can do mad recovery or sand recovery, so... That's pretty much it on that. Now, what makes Sorcerer really good for werewolf even better this patch? You know, it's the expert summoner passive. It gives you more max resource. So, for example, let's say you put that mythic on another class besides Warden or um, Necromancer, you're not going to get as much health. You're not. You're still going to get health, but for but if you say you put it on a Templar, or you put it on a Nightbleed, or you're gonna your health is going to be a lot lower. So that's why the Sork Wolf is really good now. So you can basically be a Warden, but also be a Sork. Because of the ten percent health. As a pack leader, though, the berserker morph just gets stamina and mag. So, yeah, 
it's all based around your pet. So the reason is because the pack leader spawns two dire wolves, which will give you the max health. So, yeah. And we all know that more, the more health on a werewolf, the better the solubility is for it, because the healing is much stronger. So, and then also the obvious sort of passives like Unholy Knowledge, which reduces your, basically makes your sustain better, reduces your cost of your abilities by 6%. Same thing with Persistence, another 15% when you block an attack. Um, and then you also got the Mag Recovery passive, you have the Energize passive, and you have the Amplitude passive. Two damage ones and one recovery. The Energized will carry over, especially with the enchants. You have the, you have the shock damage, so that'd be even more. And shock damage procs uh, vulnerability, I think minor vulnerability or something like that, which is going to overall increase your damage. So. Now, let's go ahead and get into the Sork abilities itself. So, Hurricane, I just use Hurricane. I use Race Against Time, I hate being snared. It also gives you a crit damage buff and movement speed. Dark deal. You always need this on a Sork. Stam Sork anyway. And it also increases your damage done and critical damage by 10%. So you can like pop that before werewolf form. And you can just rip and tear to somebody real quick. And then go right back to your human form. Got streak so I can keep away from people. Get out get out of weird situations, I guess you could say. And then resolve and vigor for your heal. Um, I have damage shield. It was hardened ward. I don't know why it says conjure ward could be glitching out. Uh, or unless that's the morph name. I got Crystal Weapon, I always proc this before Werewolf as well, which would be an, another form of burst damage, which sometimes does kill people, especially depending on your maximum damage. Dizzy Swing, I'm probably going to take this off, I need to probably, probably swap it off for a Silk ability, but that's what I have on here so far. Executioner, and then Rally, and then um, Pack Leader more. Now for races, it doesn't really matter. But we're going to go ahead and go over the Werewolf passives and why the Mythic is really good with it. So Werewolf gets Savage Strength, which is 18% weapon damage, which is going to really boost up with that Mythic as well. Plus when you go into Pack Leader form, you'll get Minor Courage, which is 215 weapon damage, and you take 10% less damage, guys. So like I said, you're, that's going to stack with the Mythic, that's 25% mitigation. If you're not taken into like diminishing returns, I don't really know when that really starts to take into place exactly, but something like that. Alright. And the fact that uh, Werewolf, you get Major Brutality at all times, which is 20% more damage, and you also get the uh, Broom of Carnage, which can stack up your weapon damage a lot as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into Werewolf form itself to really show you what I mean. Before we hit in Werewolf form, I'm just going to show you the stats in the character sheet before Werewolf. So you have 7,000 weapon damage, right? But it's going to stack much more in Werewolf form itself. 7.5. More pen and more stamina, which equals more damage overall. It doesn't seem like a lot, right? But here's the thing. When you go to Cyrodiil, you have people running around with Rallying Cry. You have people running around with uh, Stealth Power of Cure. So if you have somebody in your group that's using Rally, that's going to even be more damage and more critical resistance. Or if they're using Spell Power of Cure, that's even going to be more weapon damage plus continuous. You can get up to literally 11,000 weapon damage. I have screenshots to prove this. It's insane. Um, 11,000 spell damage or weapon damage, doesn't matter either one. It's a lot, guys. It really is. So I have 64 to health to really scale up the health in werewolf form, which overall will increase your ability and your healing power. You can mix it up and go more stamina, more mag, whatever you want, but I just keep it in 64 health. Monday Stone, I have the Lover or the Warrior. Either one of those will work. I even tested out the mag recovery. Yeah, it's fine. But I, I, for me, I just want to be able to get my damage as much as possible. So, I stuck with the lover. Alright, now for what races would you, what I recommend? Any. Um, any of the races work. For me, I'm an orc. I feel like the, the, the weapon damage races are the best to like Dark Elf and Orc. But Wood Elf is really good too. Imperial is another great one. 
Argonian if you want to sustain with your potions. Um, but for me, I like the I like the weapon damage from Orc and the movement speed and a little bit of health and a little bit of stamina. But uh, yeah, any of the races will will, will work. So yeah, and that's just how good the mythic is. Now the question is, will the mythic work on any other class for werewolf? Yeah, they will. But you're gonna get the most benefit from sword. Anyway, now for champion points. Um, you can pretty much use whatever you want, but for me, I think the best champion point in the blue CP is Foresight. Um, this, when you pop it, you're, you literally can spam your heals like crazy. Um, and that's really gonna, what's gonna keep you alive in Cyrodiil, especially, or IC. You, you gotta be able to spam heals. Werewolf only has one form of healing, and that's just our normal heal. So we don't have hots or anything, so you wanna be able to conserve as much Magicka as possible, especially when, when the pressure really starts to get stacked up on you. Um, I'm using Master at Arms, Deadly Aims, and Raffle Strikes. That's just, just to increase my tool tips and my damage overall. And then I've used Force of Nature. That's another pretty effective CP as well. Um, I've used Full Defensive as well, Ironclad Enduring and all that, and that, that works wonders as well. That'll work as well. You can go Full Defensive and still have enough damage to kill players. But, uh... You'll, there'll just be those one guys that you're not going to be able to take down because you're lacking the pressure now. But yeah. For red CP, I have Pain's Refuge, which is going to reduce your damage to taken by negative effects on you up to a maximum of 20%. And then I have Sustained by Suffering, which is going to give me more recovery when I have a negative effect on you. You know, because status effect players like to run around. Um, I have Fortified, Balanced Vitality, which you see will give you more health. Stuff like that. Um, but that's pretty much pretty much on the CP. Um, I didn't go over the werewolf skills, did I? So we're going to go over the werewolf skills real quick to kind of break them down for you. Um, brutal Pounce is just going to increase your weapon damage and spell damage every time you pounce on something. And it puts an executed bleed on them. So if their health gets slower, you're going to do more damage to them with, the, with it. Hercene's Fortitude is going to increase your overall healing. You can use Hercene's Rage, but you don't get the Berserk at all times. You have to be at full health, so you're going to have to pop it right before you go into combat. I mean, the heal is going to be cheaper, which you can, you can make an argument that you can sustain better, but for but Fortitude gives you recovery, stamina recovery. So, so it's just an option, but I, I stick with Fortitude for open world. Uh, Deafening Roar, this is just going to reduce the armor's resistances, and it's going to CC, which is going to increase your damage to the target. Howl of Agony, um, you're going to crush an enemy with your, with your Howl. And then it's gonna enemies enemies that are facing you are feared are gonna take 25% more damage. You can also use Howl of Despair, which is the critical one, which is a 10% critical damage, and the tool tip for some reason is a little bit higher. Um, but it's not as strong. But I feel like if you have one werewolf running it in your group, it's it's really nice to have. Um then you got Claws of Anguish, which is which is here's the thing, guys. Werewolf, we're actually the counter to Sorks, this patch, or any Shoulder players. We will do more damage to Shoulder players just because of the Major Defile, so it's going to increase your damage to Shields by 12% and reduce their healing. So if you stack that with the Bastion CP, any Mag Sork that's not tanky enough is going to get shredded, easily. You're going to rip and tear through any Sork that has Shields on. Not just Sorks, even Arcanist and Wardens. Wardens have a shield as well. Um, the Shimmering Shield, for some reason, it seems to affect their shields. I, I don't, at least that's from my experience. So, yeah. Anything that's running around with a shield, you'll be able to kill them. So, keep that in mind. And what you can see, I have 40k something health, and you can see my tooltips are pretty high for a 40k health werewolf. Which, which will increase even more in PvP. So, Anyway, let's go ahead and show you what the stats look like when I pounce on this target. Kind of show you the kind of like the uh, thing where I'm not like tripping or anything. So, you see, 8.4 weapon damage. I think it was 8.6. Well, I think it was 4 actually. I'll do this again. And uh, 8.4, 8. 8. 8. and it's going to go up even more when you're in Cyrodiil. 
to 10 US plus the rally or whatever the buffs up to almost 11k. And you'll get more weapon damage based upon more media pieces. But anyway guys, that's pretty much the end of the build video. I hope you guys like it. Um, like I said, this is the best werewolf build in the game right now that I've tested. So yeah, for PvP. Alright guys, catch y'all another one.